Hello friends, Miss Mishki back again to share with you from this book, Black Heroes, 51 Inspiring People from Ancient Africa to Modern Day USA. I am so enjoying celebrating Black History Month with you in this way. It's really cool that kids from all different schools are watching and I got some messages and today at the end of this video I will give my first shout out and there'll be many more because I got a great response and I want it to keep coming so um, first the most exciting thing is we are gonna learn about another black hero from this book his name was Ignatius Sancho Charles Ignatius Sancho was born in 1729 on a slave ship crossing the Atlantic Ocean headed to South America. Both of his parents died when he was a baby. As an orphan, he was brought to England where he was enslaved and sold to three sisters. Later, he worked for the Duke of Montagu. The Duke was impressed by Ignatius's wit and intelligence and gave him books to encourage his education. Ignatius taught himself to read and write. Though it is unknown how, Ignatius became emancipated and was paid wages for his work. Emancipated means that he was made free. He continued to develop his skills in reading and writing and began speaking out against the slave trade. He also wrote music, poetry, and plays. Ignatius was not only educated, he was well liked by the British elite or wealthy, powerful people. After he left the English household, he and his wife opened a grocery store where many politicians, writers, actors, and artists would gather. Ignatius became a successful businessman in his community, and he got to know several leading politicians and did not shy away from offering his advice or opinions. He often wrote about politics and the economy, and he used his popularity to spread his message and share his views, especially against enslavement. Ignatius began writing letters to abolitionists. Abolitionists are people who wanted to end slavery boldly criticizing the British for their part in the slave trade. Because he was so well respected, Ignatius remained a prominent figure in his community until his death in 1780. Here is a quote from Ignatius. Alas, time leaves the marks of his rough fingers upon all things. You can actually see scans of a book of Ignatius's letters published in 1784 which is pretty crazy, those are quite old. And you would see those at publicdomainreview.org. All right, so now, I'm so excited. I asked you guys to let me know if you're watching, if you like the video, I'd love to see your art, I'd love to see how you're celebrating um, Black History Month in your school with your community. And I'm just gonna go in order that was received today. We just have time for one quick one. And then tomorrow for Friday, I'll have more. But I wanted to send a big shout out to, that's my drum roll, <laughs> to third graders from Summit School in Mrs. Oh, and I hope I pronounced this correctly, Trujillo's class. Mrs. Trujillo, thank you so much for writing to me. I know that your students said that they would like to leave a comment on my video. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, one of those things where if the video's for kids, for students, which these videos are, we do have to turn the comments off just to keep everyone safe. But third graders at Summit and Mrs. Trujillo's class, I see you, I appreciate you watching. Um, give yourself a pat on the back, all of you that are learning uh, about our Black Heroes for Black History Month. I can't wait to give some more shout outs and share some art that I'm receiving. It's incredible. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And thanks again. Goodbye.